taking the kneaded eraser, get it cleaned up. You have to stretch it and work it. Kneaded erasers are fabulous. They're like magic. See how you just clean it up. I don't know where all the charcoal goes. It just goes away. Okay, here we go. And I'll use it, I'll sharpen it like a um, pencil. Let us work up a little edge or a point. Here we go. We make a little statement about the chin, a little statement about the nose, a little statement here about the eye socket. Mm, I'm getting too fussy. Let's go over to the arm. And there's this beautiful edge, a contour, and then the elbow turns, and there's a lovely big shape here. Let's get that going. Shapes. I'm just gonna now I'm just looking for shapes. And there's a beautiful edge. It's really amazing, this line of the arm. You have to be sensitive. And then the hand's quite bright. And we're just going to treat that hand like a mitten, is how we'll think of it. Just as one shape. I don't want to be seeing fingers or anything yet. So this nice shape coming down. And then we're going to lift out the thumb. We'll go back and get this in. Even if you don't get this stuff in, it's It'll read, if you do your homework and your due diligence, just getting these shapes in will make the thing read. It's amazing. I'm going to come back with that pencil and just, there's a reflected light there, but it's still not as light as the light area, but I want to kind of get that edge going. And I've made, I need to make a correction here. It's another place where the arm of the, it's different. And I'm going to shadow that in just a little more heavily. Okay, squint down, use the kneaded eraser to get that pretty, and this is a big shape, important shape. And come down, there's a little shape there. Remember to think like a copy machine. I'm sort of squinting my eyes. If I use more pressure, it takes out more material. Less pressure takes out less material, so if I want it brighter, I just push harder. 